This right here is where meat starts. See, it's been a, a while since I did a video like this, but hey, it works out. See, I helped my neighbor run his cows. Uh, he's older and, you know, we trade off favors and that's just what the neighborly thing to do out here in Texas. See, he's got, he's got some of his cows here at his place. And what I got to do today is we're sorting calves uh, and then we're taking a couple cows, or I think one cow, that uh, not doing that, uh, well, it's lost its calf the last two years, so it's time for it to go to uh, sale. And we're going to sort them and uh, load them up. And uh, we're gonna go through this whole process. This is, I can show you guys. This is where carnivore diet starts. This is where meat starts. Ground level of the beef industry. And look, look at this. They're coming right now because they know me, but I can call them because they know my call actually really well. All right, I'm gonna interrupt the video for a quick second to hear from today's video sponsor, and that's me. Guess what? After uh, a little over three years of being out here, being able to start this farm, we're ready to start processing our beef. We have halves and holes available of grass-fed, grass-finished Longhorn beef that's now ready to go into your freezers, okay? What does that mean? A half, usually about 200 pounds of beef that you'll get off of that, a whole, about, about a 400 pounds. So if you're in the Northeast Texas area or surrounding areas, because we can deliver, okay, we can find a way to make it work to where we can actually deliver it to your house within a, we'll call it a four or five hour kind of radius from a little town called Winsboro where I'm at. Google Winsboro, Texas, and if you're four or five hours away or within that radius, guess what? We can bring it right to your door. Now we don't have that many available and quite a few are already spoken for. So be sure, go down, check out the link down in the description, our website, againstthegrain.farm. But now let's get back to the video. Let's see if we can do this. Come on, cow, cow. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Come on. And of course, there's that white bull calf that I needed to get in. There's two here that we're taking, and I gotta figure out which one. It's the white bull calf. Which one is he? He's right there. He's gotta go. And then it's one of the Charlets, which are the white ones. Um, you gotta figure out which one and uh, go from there. So I just gave him cubes because that's what he gives them, that's his, uh, his treats for them. And uh, I'm gonna let them finish eating their cubes, but wondering if, if you guys were wondering where I've been last couple weeks, I got stabbed by a wakeboard fin. Yeah, I was wakeboarding, started getting the hang of it, I ended up falling, board flipped upside down somehow, and it stabbed me about that deep into my hamstring. So I've been trying to recover from that, not easy, okay? This is, I'm actually breaking a three day fast. Uh, today, did it this morning, had two steaks, fantastic feeling good said okay time to go uh time to go work cows and sheep if you guys don't uh know what those are right there huh he was supposed to go to the sale barn a long time ago but he's just not being cooperative and that's the most friendly one so what i'm gonna try and do is i'm gonna try and move the white ones into the other pen and sort out all the other ones uh out here just send them back out because they're not going anywhere and go from there and we'll see how easy this goes and you guys are up by the fence so you guys might get knocked down then but that's okay though you're the one that's going aren't you you need to move thank you okay you come on Ronnie. you come on get up hey okay, llama you're gone come on you're gone you're gone you go too you go too come on hey Come on, you're gone, go, go, you got your treat, go, 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 
You're not going anywhere. No, uh uh. Get. 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 You? 26? 26, you wanna go? Come on. No, you're white. No, come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. And I think that was the one I needed. I'm not 100% sure. Huh. Rusty at this. Actually, no. That's the one I need. Actually, I actually already know. You're gone. You're okay. Mr. Bull, I don't like you. You can go. You can go. You can go with your calf. You can go. You. That's the one. There. Come on. Come on. 73. You're gone. No, you're, you're staying. You're going. No, no, no. Get out. Go. Yeah, go. 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 Go, go, go. Here. You. Come on. There we go. Come on. All of you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Alright. Well, I thinned them out. Let's see if we can get that one. That one in the back. Everybody here, get out. 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 Sheep, out too. Get out. Sheep, go. Get out, get out. No, sheep. Sheep, get out. Come on. There we go. Now we can work on them. I know. You want to get your baby, but I need you out of here. See, my last name's Murphy, and this law that we supposedly have to follow uh, always rings true. Always rings true. It's frustrating. I get the, the the truck hooked up to the trailer. Everything's going good. Nothing, nothing, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Well, big cow decided to jump over this panel, which I've never had a cow do before. I'm doing this a whole bunch of times. And now went through the barn and then went out, jumped over the troughs. And went out there. Great. Caught the other the uh, other uh, small calf. Did the same thing, and I was able to get him into the sheep fence or in the sheep corral. So backed up the trailer to the sheep corral. So now we got to go load him. All right. Now, luckily, he's small enough. So this is the sheep corral where we can get him out of. Come on. 
All right, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Go. Go. See it. Now you see it. Walk slowly. All right, figure it out. There we go. There we go. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Just get in there. Get in there. This is behind me. And there we go. And that there. And go there. I gotta get skinny. Get skinny? I'm skinny. Oh, okay. There we go. He's loaded up now. Good. Now you, on the other hand, are a troublemaker. Let's see if you walk in there with all the other cows. Because the baby's still over there. And Jezebel is all over me. Hey, buddy. Hey, baby. Okay. No, don't be dumb. I'm just gonna back out. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. She's like, uh, -uh I ain't going back in there. Let's see. If I head out, I'm trying to hurt her hand. Come on. No. Okay. No, you you coming over here? Go. Will you go in? See so you cut yourself, big dummy. No, come on. Come on. Yeah, you. You know where. You know you're in trouble. Come on. Come on. No, you're crazy. You're not gonna let me do this today, are you? You're really not gonna let me do this today. Maybe. Come on, go in. Go in there with everybody else. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 you're gonna take off on it, aren't you? Come on. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's not happening today. See, look, her teeth are all messed up. That's a crazy cow. No crazy cows allowed. That happens. Got one loaded up. I guess we're taking one to the sail barn right now. We'll go from there. If she calms down, she calms down, but this will probably have to be another day. All right, now we're at this other property and we have more to do. It's gonna be a little bit trickier. It's those that I'm after right there. We're going, we gotta get five of them and the other ones are coming. We gotta, Four heifers, maybe five heifers, and a bull calf. And we have to, we're, we're separating out two of the heifers that are getting, being kept, and the rest are going to the sale barn. So, we'll see how this goes. Well, we're gonna do some sorting now and uh, get the big ones out of there.
That's how you do it. And look at that. First try. That's how good I'm getting. That used to be my weakness, backing up a trailer. Now, I'm a pro. Alright, now we're going to see how real skilled I am. Because not all of these are going to the same place and I like to try and save myself a trip. So it's a bull calf and the biggest heifer that are going. Which I would call her and her to the sale and the other two are going to Ronnie's to grow out for a little while longer. So let's see if I can separate those two out. Because there's two sections in the trailer. And if I can put the first two in, actually, I want to get the smaller three in first. That way I can go to the sale barn, drop off the two, and then uh, go over to, well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, you, you're a big boy. Okay, can you separate yourselves out? You go, you go, you go, you go. Okay, they're separated. Now can I get them down the chute? Oh, let's see, look at this. This might be easier than I thought. Go. Go. Go! Go! Get in! Go! Get! Get! Let's go! Get! Come on! Up! Come on! Push him! No, uh, uh, you're not coming back! You're not coming back! Go! I should have brought the whip. Come on! Go! Go! Ah! Uh -uh. Go. Come on. Go. Get in. Okay, you go in first. Come on. Come on. Go. 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 Up. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it. Go. Go. Go, go, push, go, go, there we go, everybody back. There we go, now if we can get the other three in here, I'm going to be really good. Alright, now you three go, everybody in, come on, everybody go, everybody go. Come on, little girls. Go, 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 go. Come on. I don't know if they can fit. I hope they can fit. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Get, go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Squeeze. It's just a short ride, okay? It's less than. Less than half a mile. Come on. Come on. Go. Go. You too. You too. Come on. Come on. Go. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. I know it's squeeze. We're going real short distance though. I promise. Go. Go. Look at that. That's how good I am. That's how good I am. Remember all the people said, oh, you don't belong out here. Yeah, well, mm, there you go. That, not the easiest thing to do. Looked easy, because I'm not good. But reality, not the easiest thing to do. You guys just stay here for a week, okay? So you can get weaned. It's okay, go out. Go out, go, 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 you're okay, come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, turn around. Go. Go. Come on. Hey. Come on. There we go. There we go. Whoa, that's not touched. Can you do this one with one hand? I shall see. Yes, I can. And that, that crazy cow took out this. Oh my gosh. That cow's nuts. That'll hold them just so I can back out. And we're gonna take those two to the sale. 
Sorry, you guys are gone. You guys got big. No, Jezebel, really? These two sheep. Now we're almost done. These are just salt blocks with sulfur on them. It helps keep the flies away. Funny enough, these don't smell, but the flies don't like the sulfur that gets in the cow's oil on their skin, and they'll keep off of them a lot better. And this is just general purpose mineral. Look at this though. All oh, super friendly. A little bit crazy. Is that you? You're the crazy one? Yeah, that's the crazy one right there we couldn't catch. And, Mr. Bull, you gonna let me buy? You gonna let me buy, Mr. Bull? Thank you. Look at the little baby. Look at the little baby. And, see if we can give you guys a bonus. These are some ponies out here by the hay rings some Welsh ponies and look at that little baby I don't know if you guys can see it Let's see if I can zoom in Mama won't let me get close yet but you can see the black one that's daddy there in the front Toby and there's mama those are actually registered and uh, the little toys that you see at tractor supply the black Welsh pony is actually her mom like they make it matter uh, they, they model them after like actual animals it's her mom, kind of cool. But I do want to leave you with this message, okay? This is the beginning of the beef production out here, okay? You see, you have, uh, there's usually three different stages. Um, you have a cow-calf operation, which means that the cows have calves, okay? And about six months old, they, they're about ready to wean, and you take them to the sale, that's what we just did. After that, uh, they're bought, probably tomorrow, at the, the auction, and they're taken to, to the people that feed them out a little bit longer to where they'll, they'll get them at six months, keep them to about maybe 12, 13, 14 months. And then after that, they're taken back to the sale usually. Then they go to a feedlot where they're fed corn and soybeans for another few months to fatten them up as much as they possibly can. Then they're taken to the, basically you get them at the grocery store. Now, is that the best way to do it? In my opinion, absolutely not. Ideally, like what we're doing is we're, we're, we're finishing the steers. We're finishing our, uh, our steers that we've got, that we bought, and the steers that are growing up out of the mom, out of Jordan, our bull, and out of our, uh, out of our cows. That way I know from the day that they're born to the day that they're taken to process, they've never had an ounce of grain, because I won't do that. I won't give them cubes, I'll give them alfalfa pellet. They do, it's the same thing. And remember this, that you know, these are, these are uh, live animals, okay? You, they, they do have personalities. I do know, I know each and every one of these decently well. Mine I know really well, but they have a purpose. They're here to feed us. So one, don't try not to waste meat, okay? Don't let it go bad. Eat everything that, uh, that you buy. And then two, try and get the best that you can. One, best sustainably, regeneratively raised, ideally. Grass fed, grass finished, because that benefits the animal and benefits you. And if you can, look at that here. You're about to see a baby being made. There comes a calf coming right now. You there, you easy there, Blue? Okay, he's having his fun. Um, look, aww. If you can, get it from a local rancher. Why? Because the ranchers, they don't make enough money. They don't, they don't make enough money for all the work and all the effort that if they just, you know, cow-calf, they take it to the sale barn, they're, they're gonna profit maybe a couple hundred bucks. Uh, <laughs> there they go. A couple hundred bucks a calf for six months of work just on the calf plus raising up the 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 keeping the cows around and feeding them hay and being able to keep up all around plus the equipment costs are through the roof try and get it from a local rancher why because then the money stays local and then allows the farmer to be able to actually stay on the farm you know 99 percent of ranchers they have a second job this is their side business this is what they do to you know, make maybe a little bit of money and then keep their ag exemption. So they're not paying astronomical property taxes on land that is being used. So keep it from a local rancher. And the people that say this isn't, this isn't the way to eat, look, 
little bit windy right now, but you take this setting. Ooh, look at that. Look, there's some persimmons over there. I might want to pick some of those because I am going to need a little bit of fruit now. They look ready. You take down, but you take down these fences, and look, this is what it would look like. This is as ma most natural as you can get. You know, all those vegan morons out there that, you know, oh, you know, the cows are killing the planet. No, veganism is and all the other grain. And anytime you plow the ground, anytime you stick a, a plow in the ground, that's what's doing it faster. Is this the best way to do it? It's not bad. I, 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 I could tell you it could be better. You know, I'd love to see this rotation, rotationally grazed, but still not as bad as, as literally plowing into the ground. Every time you plow into the ground, it's like taking a potato uh, peeler to your skin and it's taking off a layer. Our soils are one of the most important things in this country and we have to respect them we have to, and we have to keep them good. Why? Because then we can grow food. Talk about food security, as well, the, the better the soils, the more food that we can grow, okay? One of the most unnatural things is go look at a soybean field, go look at a corn field, go look at a barley field. Guess what? You're not going to find that in nature. Why is that? Because it's not monocrop. I mean, look at all the, the, the wildlife it's displacing. Look at all, the, the, all the, the stuff they have to spray on it to keep the bugs off. Look at how much soil erosion is happening from that. Look at this. Okay. You take down the fences. You take out the feed troughs. You tra change, change those into bison and guess what? That's how it looks hundreds and hundreds of years ago before humans came and started domesticating animals not bad and look at this how pretty is this to be out here the birds still got their trees the coyotes can still hunt their their the coyotes can still hunt their rabbits you know there's grasshoppers all over here and you got cuteness too okay corn's not that cute that that's cute so i hope i left you with something to think about these animals, their cousins or whatever they are, that has fed me for the last 10 months, got me in the best shape of my life, feeling the best that I can. And you know what, it's just, this is right. This is right, I feel comfortable that, you know what, and I feel comfortable with it because the more of those that you eat, the more farmers that you support, the more of, uh, more of those that they, that, that they can have, the more that we can eat. So don't feel bad about eating meat because you're supporting nature you're supporting beauty you're supporting something that is actually this maybe neutral with the environment the way this is here if you can do regeneratively raised where it's mob grazed and moved every day guess what you're 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 making a net positive but now i'm tired i'm gonna go get myself a glass of water and relax a little bit but this pretty nice